Welcome to episode 52 from Best Book Bits. Today I'll be sharing Zig Ziglar Selling 101, What Every Successful Sales Professional Needs to Know. This book was published in 2003 and weighing in at 112 pages. Here in a short, compact and concise format is the basics of how to persuade more people more effectively, more ethically and more often. Ziglar draws from his fundamental selling experiences and shows that while the fundamentals of selling may remain constant, salespeople must continue learning, living, and looking. Learning from the past without living there. Living in the present by seizing every vital moment of every single day. And looking to the future with hope, optimism, and education. This is my take on the best book bits I found worth capturing. If you like what you hear, I strongly suggest you buy the book using the link in the description. So without further ado, I bring you Selling 101. He had convinced the students he was right, but he had not persuaded them. The question in the world of sales is, how do you persuade? Answer, you don't persuade by telling, you persuade by asking. A large portion of Selling 101 is devoted to asking questions, with emphasis on listening for the answers. You will make an amazing discovery, namely that when people asked Christ a question, He either responded with a question or a parable, both of which were tools for persuasion. The importance of integrity in building a sales career. With integrity, you have nothing to fear because you have nothing to hide. Selling with integrity is the only way you can build a long-term career with the same company selling the same product to the same people, which brings sales stability and financial security. Values determine behavior. Behavior determines reputation. Reputation determines advantages. Attitude is always a player on your team. Lack of commitment is primary reason that the sales profession, gas earned, that reputation for having a high turnover rate. Opportunity is born of independence, handled in a responsible manner. All successful sales professionals utilize listening skills to their fullest. Interestingly enough, the more salespeople know about their prospects' needs, the better position they are to meet those needs. Not only that, but the trust factor goes up when the prospect sees the salesperson intensively listening to the needs and desires. When we are not talking or preparing to talk, we can listen. Talking is sharing, but listening is caring. Most people like to listen at the same speed they speak. So whenever possible, adjust your speech patterns to conform to those of your prospect. You spend time with suspects, you invest time with prospects. You would not get rid of butterflies, but you can get them flying in formation. Procrastination is the number one indication that a problem is developing. When you realize that a prospect is human, you are less likely to be intimidated. The second way to alleviate anxiety is to understand that selling is transference of feelings. Determine why you are making the call. The evidence is overwhelming that to be mentally sharp, you need to be physically sharp. The will to win is nothing without the will to prepare to win. What are your plans for the day, week, month, year, career? Regular dose of motivation will increase your success. There is a biochemical basis for why people feel good after these talks. Something about hearing about success gives us an emotional charge that releases those chemicals into the bloodstream and makes the body function better. And while these effects last for more than a few hours, regular dose of motivation will lead to better health, happiness, and achievement. One of the most important ways to overcome call reluctance is this. Get on a regular schedule and make an appointment with yourself to contact a prospect at the same time every day. Logic will not change an emotion, but action will. Your duty and opportunity as a sales professional is to get those needs out into the open. If we can give someone a reason for buying and an excuse for buying, the chances are rather dramatically improved that he will buy. People buy what they want when they want it more than they want the money it costs. How do you uncover wants and needs? I'm glad you asked. Probing. None of us buy products. We all buy products of the product, which are called benefits or need solutions. In short, we don't buy what the product is. We buy what the product does for us. Lead with need. We lead with the product. We lead with need. 
Emotion makes the prospects take action now and logic enables them to justify the purchase later. Fear of loss is greater than the desire for gain. Some of the fear of loss is often greater than the desire for gain. The fourth step in our successful sales formula is need satisfaction. Don't reinvent the wheel. Go to school on other people's experience. And last but not least, objections are part of every sales professional's life. Our attitude towards them makes a tremendous amount of difference in how effective we are going to be in handling objectives. Thanks for watching episode 52 from Best Book Bits, Zig Ziglar, Selling 101. Follow us on social, search us on Facebook, Instagram, hashtag Best Book Bits, and at Twitter, at Best Book Bits. If you liked the video, purchase the book on Amazon by clicking the link in the video description. Subscribe to the channel, give me feedback on what you think, give it a thumbs up, and if there is a book you want me to do a summary on, let us know. Thanks for watching, have a great day.